Ladies and gentlemen, here we are at Terminal Mate 87. We've got about 90 seconds before your boy Rod Costa uh, starts his fight. Mate, first round victory, uh, TKO over. I mean, I think they claim knockout. I, I think, does that go down to TKO or a KO over Aiden Aguilera? I feel like I saw eyes rolling, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go with KO, but hey. How good does it feel to put this all to bed? I mean, I know we'll be talking about the leg break until the day you die. Even when you're dead, we won't talk about you dying. We'll be like, how's the leg? But <laughs> now that you've kind of put it away, you're clearly back to the top of your game. And you put the guy away in the stadium. I mean, all that emotion. I mean, we, we had our time last time talking about it. Do you feel like you can finally push it aside and move on to what you were meant to be doing? Yeah, I feel like I, feel like I got to step back into pre-leg break. It was like a like a split in reality. I got to revisit that with a similar opportunity. People talking about UFC. UFC's tomorrow morning. Eyes are on the show. Fuck, I've been seen before. I've been looked at before. And I get to step out there and do that. Let's fucking go. I'm ready. I'm ready for the next step. Let's do it. And what is the next step? Let's go. UFC. I want to I wanna push forward. I want to take a step up out of regional scene. I want to test myself against the best guys in the world. And I know that will take something more it will bring something more out of me i got a long way to go and i'm fucking excited and i got the energy to fucking do it so let's go my man so happy for you